watching this video where we will show you how to check your blood sugar. Depending on your insurance, you can get different types of meters, but they all work about the same. Your meter kit should have your meter, your bottle of test strips, your little bag of lancets, and this tool which is called a lancing tool or device. First, make sure all of these are in one place so we can get ready to test our blood sugar. Next, wash your hands very well for about 20 seconds. You can also sing the happy birthday in your head. Avoid soaps that have a lot of lotion or perfume, and after you wash your hands, make sure to dry them very well. If your hands have lotion or are wet, it can give you a wrong blood sugar reading. Now we will show you how to use your meter to check your blood sugar. The first time you use a meter, you will turn it on with the power button and you will set up language, date, and time. For reference, you can use the instructions on your box or the manufacturer video. This is only for the first time you use your meter. Now, to prepare to prick your fingers, use the lancing tool that I showed earlier. First, twist the cap off where you will put your lancet in. Open your bag of lancets and remove one lancet. Put the lancet in the lancing tool and you will hear a click. Take off the little cap from the lancet so you can see the lancet. Then, put back the cap on the lancing tool. To make sure it is put correctly, twist the cap in the opposite direction. Now, we will adjust how deep the lancet goes in. Look at this number on the lancing tool. Usually, a two or three work well, but if you feel like your skin is thick, you can go up to a higher number. The higher the number, the deeper the prick. On some lancing tools, there is a blood drop instead of a number, and the size of the blood drop shows how deep it can prick. Before you prick your finger, you can rub your hands like this underneath your heart for better blood flow. You will use the sides of your fingertips to test your blood sugar. You will draw an imaginary line in the middle of the tip of your finger and do it on the sides of the finger. This is because we have more nerve endings on the middle part of the finger, so it might be painful if we prick this part. So try to use the sides and a different finger each time to check your blood sugar. Do not choose a favorite finger. Now that we have everything ready, we will put the strip in the meter to turn it on. Only take out one strip that you will be using and close the box for the strips, otherwise water from the air can damage the strips. Place the strip with the white part facing down as you will be looking at your meter like this. And make sure to leave the line or the dots where you will put the blood drop outside of the meter. Then, use the lancet tool which we have set up. Put the tool flush against the finger and then press down the button to prick your finger. If nothing happens, pull on the back of the device to reload and click on the button again. If you don't see anything, you can massage your finger from the bottom to the top like this until you see the drop of blood. Some strips need the blood drop on the front and some need the blood drop on the side. Please read the instructions for your meter. Regardless of which one it is, you never have to put the blood on top of it, but on the side of the line or the dots which will absorb your drop of blood. Make sure that the line or the dot is full of blood. Finally, the meter will give you your blood sugar result, which you should, you should write down, so you can keep a note of blood sugar results for your diabetes educator or doctor. Once you checked your blood sugar, you can remove the strip and throw it in the regular garbage. To remove the lancet, you can put the cap on top carefully and pull it out gently. You can also turn the lancing tool upside down and pull on the lancet so that it falls on a flat surface or a table. The needle can be thrown in the regular garbage, so you can make a shards bottle at home. You can use an empty bleach bottle to put in all the used lancets. 
Do not use the clear bottle or glass bottle for these lenses. Make sure to write sharps on the bottle with a marker or pen. When the bottle is full, you can take it to any hospital close to you that will take them. At the end of this video, we will list a website that you can use to find a place close to you that will also take filled use lancet bottles. Sometimes the city or town you live in will also have a date that they collect used lancets. As a reminder, please do not share your meter with anyone. This keeps you safe from infections. And also, each test strip and lancet should only be used once. Thank you for watching. Please reach out to your doctor or diabetes educator if you have any questions.